before, but the battery of my laptop died, which is fun. So hopefully today it'll actually prove to be slightly better and actually work till the end. So without further ado, let's boot up the game to begin. Um, for those of you who don't know what Sly Raccoon is, it's a PS2 game, or well, it's a series of PS2 games that was very popular around the PS2 era, era, obviously. Um, and I bought the collection on the PlayStation Network a while ago and thought, hey, why not? Let's uh, do a Let's Play of it, because I've wanted to play for ages. And, you know, fun fact, the only Sly game I've actually played is Sly 3. Okay. Sucker Punch production, you may know the Sucker Punch guys from such games as um, Infamous and just that, really. So, unfortunately, this isn't going to be quite first impression level of stuff here, because I've already played the first 40 minutes, just... <laughs> I lost all the data. Okay. Now, this is a pretty slick thing. We get a brief shot of uh, Sly, just kind of looking around the place. Uh, and, if you press start, you go straight into the game. Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Okay, well, we have exposition-tastic, uh... Cutscene at the start there. Also, another thing, uh, alas, you cannot see because this is part two, is the fact that I earned six trophies in 40 minutes. Most of the trophies are because I simply played the game. I happened to get a few coins, which is interesting. Just gonna change the options quickly to uh, invert stuff. Uh, camera inverted back. Cool. Because I am one of the superior people that play inverted! Haha! Ha ha! Doesn't make me superior, actually. But wherever. Let's see, what else can I destroy here before I move on? I like exploring stuff. Which is, I think, true for a lot of people. Featuring the Fiendish Five. That's pretty cool. Technology, guys. Yeah! Uh, anyway. Is there a rat just then? Interesting opening titles here. They're mentioning uh, that the characters in the game are playing themselves. Or whatever. So, right. Yes. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the cool. circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Okay, I may be going quite quickly through um, the preceding levels simply for the fact that I've already done them before. Uh, oh, did that just bend? That did indeed bend. That's pretty cool. Quick oh, slide. Sm yeah, smash that. Uh, you meant smash turrets if you didn't get that. I'm never going to get that coin, ever. Nice job, you're in! Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door! Uh, as before, as I did in the first take of this, I'm just going to check. Uh, right, cool, that's the door. Obviously that it's locked. Door must be super so... Maybe there's a way to get around it. Maybe there is. If only I was doing that as you were telling me. Ha! And 
here I is. Right. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into okay. the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Nine. Doing the long way around here. Three. I thought that said seven, but that actually said one. And a chorus of music passed. Yay. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Cool. And leaving a mask or piece of paper. I can never Criminal! Look at what that is. Yes, I'm a criminal. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. <laughs> the Firestone ah, of India. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This That's pistol a packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crying spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. That sounded like sort of furry fan fiction there, but whatever. Not one to judge. Uh, you know, I've heard some people find comedy to Fox quite attractive, so I'm not gonna judge them too heavily. Oh yeah, good, just destroy police cars. Uh you're not even aiming where I am. Well, let's go on the van. Oh, that's right, I'm going to jump. You can't escape me, raccoon! I just did literally. Okay. She seems to be dancing on the Once spot. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. Will My they be the bad guy, us, I wonder? But the gang of bad villains guys. known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... Spoiler, they probably the are. Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Oh. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Well, not uh, his motivations out of the way. So, without further ado, let's continue the game. Yes. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Thanks. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Okay, and as it happens... I've already plotted a route to our... Cool. Let's just start the mission. Uh... The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. 
Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. I can still never work out whether he said a Welsh Triangle there, because I don't know what a Welsh Triangle is, or rather how it differs from a regular triangle. Uh, fun fact, Triangle, Welsh is Triangle, so not very different at all, really. Sweet. Right. Let's begin this. Uh, still not quite sure what the coins are for. 40 minutes into the game when I first played it, and I still wasn't sure. But, suffice to say, you get trophies for collecting like 10 coins, 60 coins, I think 99 or something. Hey Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem, I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, oh, well. like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly, you have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. I mean, if you're not already worried that he is literally a self-proclaimed thief, then sort of, you know... I think being a thief makes you morally questionable, but it kind of does, by virtue of being a thief. Right. Well, we're now introduced to bottles. Now this is very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of club. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. Uh, the more I, I have, will. the easier it'll be to crack the code. Also, a little tidbit I love is that uh, each step you take makes a little, um, sort of, well, a little sound. Just go. Uh, right. L1. I do quite like this mode that you can, uh, Zoom in on stuff. There's a bottle there. This way. There seem to be, is it 20? I think it just said bottles, so uh, that's cool. I'm gonna try and get them all. Try being the operative word here. Aha, yes, that was the way last time. Also, I must say, uh, this is looking pretty damn good for a HD remastery thing. Like, they seem to have actually gone to the trouble of making it HD, rather than some remasters seem to be just kind of... Yeah, they kind of look 3D-ish, so that'll do. Right. Yeah, seven so far. Yeah, cool. An annoying noise, but birds there. Well done. Private. Um. Okay, well, you can smash it, so you can't interact with it. Fair enough. The ship's fog horn again. Cool. Yes, this makes me feel like I'm delving into a pirate's lair. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? I do indeed. One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Yay. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Let's do this. Raleigh, also the name of the big frog guy. Huh. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh, they just straight up forgot about me apparently. Okay, so they die in one hit, fair enough. I think I die in one hit as well, though. Uh, oh, I get coins to smash on them. That guy doesn't. Rather, I didn't because that guy smashed it. Anyway, I'm doing better than I did in the first playthrough because in the first playthrough I think I died twice by this point. Checkpoint! Ooh. It's not really something to be proud of, I know, but whatever. Positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around oh, yeah. here. That explains all the red science ships. machine. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24 7? He's a frog. It's me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's all. Just frogs like. Water, rain, and stuff, that's kind of where they thrive. Oh, yay, I killed a bug. Yay, I killed both bugs. Didn't get anything, though. Ah, oh, well. Oh, hello. Ah, you breathe fire, I forgot about that. Let's see. Cool, right. Now, this is an interesting part, because the waterfall pushes you. So... Yay. I'm assuming that's how you're actually meant to go about your business. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay. Well, let's see. Rather cute death animation there. Just gonna go and look. I don't know. That's how gravity works, I guess. Ew. Fire breather guy. Yep. You done it. Cute. Cool. Just gonna check for a second. Is there actually something down there? Doesn't actually know. Okay. That's just the edge of a ship. Cool. I'm not missing any bottles so far. Ah, oh, okay. Apparently, you can stand on that rock, certainly, but it's also part of the water, fair enough. Many rocks are also, you know, made out of water. I think that bottle's been picked up, so we'll have to go back for it. Hey. That's 13. Nice job so far, ah, yes, Sly. The hooks. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Okay. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Now this is an interesting one. Oh, okay, I did it in one. Uh, but last time I struggled a fair amount there. Ah yes, now onto the interesting platformy parts. Yo, hammer guy. Oh, I got something. And I can't remember how they work with the explanation in game, but I think it gives you like an extra hit or something. I'm sure Bentley would explain to me in a bit when I pick up one. Uh. Aha! Some supreme uh, platforming there. I say supreme. I'm not sure how that's it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not quite as stealthy as I was last time because I didn't actually ever get hit by any of those incinerator y things. Bizarre. There's 14 of them. I have six left to get. Are there any around here? Probably aren't. 
where are they? No, that wasn't a bottle. There's not any over there. Right. Here's hoping that all the bottles that remain are around here. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside okay. it. Something tells me I'm not going to get full bottles. Unless there are two near the end of the level. I don't think there are. No. Right. Cool. Actually, I think I ended up with 18 last time as well. That's perplexing. Uh, I'm going to briefly go back to see if I can actually find the other two. Because I have a sneaky suspicion. Bumber, you can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. No, 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 no. Okay. Died in the water. Cool. Maybe I can't claim on those. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm aware. You can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. No. Well, it seems the bottles will forever be a mystery, I'm assuming. I say forever, it's probably not actually going to be forever a mystery. Uh, can you get over there, I wonder? Maybe I, th I think I came from there, actually. Okay. Let's move on. I'll try and ignore my OCD. Uh, wait a second. Can you get no? That's not an actual platform up there. I knew that. Cool. Right. Hey, I got a key. Good. I love keys. Oh, ah, you put them in those locks. So keys are for kids. Oh, prowling the grounds. Um. Now might be a good time to mention that hitting the X button twice will give you. I suppose, yeah. That Thanks. glint looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Maybe it is. Maybe... I will end up in a funeral. Although I've played the third game. And I know that Sly isn't dead, so I think reasonable deduction. Yeah. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Yay! Good. That's what it's for. I knew I wasn't crazy. Well, not crazy in relation to that anyway. Right, I think
Let's see. Well, he is annoyed. Fair enough. Okay, let's go into this place. I'll probably end the first part uh, after the completion of this place, because that's where I got to last time. Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Okay. Done. What exactly are you doing in this place? You're just hammering the floor, because I don't think the floor needs to be flattened. Eureka! We're in the engine room! My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, How the fuck you'll do you get that bottle? treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. I think I'm just dead. Right, cool. That's a well-placed bottle there. Assuming maybe you get some power up that makes you walk on water or something, I don't know. Whoop, there it is. Alright. Hopefully I'll get another life back and I'll reach a hundred coins. Haha! -ha. That was pretty slick there. When I say pretty slick, I just meant actually kind of just briefly timed it. We're okay. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth Isn't there aura to perform to super nope. sneaky thief moves. Yes, super sneaky. Uh, being a code name for just kind of generally tiptoeing around stuff. I believe there is a bottle if I view go all the ha yes. See, I'm like a master of this game, except the master would know what he's doing. And I briefly sort of do ha -ha. Right. Uh been there. This turns I can destroy that. Goodbye. Aha, a life. Right. Did I yes, there's one there. Sweet, up to 13, no, 14 bottles. And a fuckload of coins. Okay, three, four coins. Whatever. Ooh. It's one of them checkpoints. This game isn't as hard as I remember it being. Perhaps I uh, was in a rush. I'm just feeling slightly uh, non committal that day, possibly. Right, cool. I think we're at the halfway point here. Uh, now cometh the interesting part. Ah, yes. And now you now was my gripe with. Oh, no, okay. A few times I've actually died on that part because uh, jumping and pressing circle sounds really easy, but depending on your sort of physical position, not as easy. Hello. Where is he coming on the ground? Oh, I get another one of those. Cool. is there. I have ten left to get. I think I may get all the bottles here. Although usually when people say that, it usually ends up that they don't. Goodbye. Oh yeah, the alarm system. Oh yeah, because there were lasers and shit right there. Yeah. 
Oh, I see. When you reach a hundred coins, you get the lucky charm thingy. That's cool. Lucky charms, not to be confused with the breakfast cereal. Aha. Assuming there's a chance to get... Hang on. Oh, dear God. Uh, it's turns, isn't it? Ha! Almost died. Ha! There's one there. Will I make it to 30? Maybe I won't. Oh yeah. Just, yep, yeah, that's, 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 well, yeah, well placed there. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I shouldn't complain. That's me trying to blame the game for my, uh, lack of skill, really. Oh, right, okay, yes. I remember now, I have to grab on to the... that cool okay I have two more bottles to get this is rather exciting now ah yes destroying the machinery all part of the job Uh, something I forgot to mention is you may have seen the trailer for uh, for the movie of which is coming out based on this game. Seems pretty sweet, yo. Okay, can I go back for a second and see if I can find those last two bottles? Oh sweet, okay cool. That's... How the fuck do I get back from here? Um, oh, okay. That's very simple. Cool! I've learned a new move! And I think that's probably going to be the end of part one. Once I get that magic key. Walk across this perilous thing. Aha. OK. 
Okay, cool. And no further ado. There's my second key. Yeah, second key. Yeah. And I'm kicked back out to the open world, to the outer world. Anyway, that'll about do it. Thank you very much for watching this part. We learned that move, which is cool. Uh, can't do it in the air though. That'd be cool though. So, until next time, goodbye.